Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel, a wicked tool that you can get from Halfords that I tend to use for cleaning the interior of my car, but you can use it on the exterior to clean glass, especially if you're on like vans and you can't reach or lorries and stuff like that. I think this tool costs about five or six from, quid from Halfords and these little stretchy bits, forgive the dodgy camera work, see there, they're Velcro backed, so they stick on. You can buy a pack of three of these and you can swap them around so you've got some spares. You can also adjust, if I just set this down, you can also adjust this thing in and out so you can even get more reach on it. Best to leave it in, you give it a little twist and then it's locked in. Where this tool comes into its own, guys, forgive, you're probably gonna struggle here. Just gonna get in the car is on the interior of the car it's going to be very dark in here so let's try and get some light going we've got some light here yeah, we've got a little bit of light probably going to look oh no it looks okay looks all right so what i'm going to do is set this down over here somewhere oh no you're not going to be able to see are you how, how am i going to do this let's stick this thing on my head all right hold on we're going head cam so hopefully you can see this guy. I've got an interior clean here. I'm using Auto Perfect M1 glass. It's got anti-fog in it, which helps a little bit in the winter. Um, now you want to spray this nice and close so you don't put all the liquid everywhere. Now normally you're going to be going in with one cloth and another, but if you keep your glass, if you keep on top of the interior, I find that just doing this once will generally do it. So. Here we go guys, so you can see how easy it is, yeah? Actually, if I spin this around this way, this is the coolest thing about it. It gets right down into that little bit down there that you can't usually reach. And it just makes it so less back-breaking. So I hope you can see this on the camera. And you can go, you can do your cross-hatch thing. And you've pretty much hit it all up. Now what you can do now, guys, is you can either get another one, you know, and come back and take all this liquid off. You can buff over it, or you can simply just leave it and it'll flash away. But I find it's best typically to give this another buff with a clean waffle weave towel. And the cool thing about this, guys, is you, I would also change places now and go, go into the passenger seat and do the same thing. But you can, if you want to just reach over here and do the same thing with your kind of right hand. And look, you can see how easy it is. It takes all of the back braking stuff out of hitting your glass. It's this bit here that really makes a difference, guys. So, <clears throat> that was a really quick video. And now, I'm gonna go back in with a clean waffle weave, wrap it over the top, and then just take that off. In fact, I'll stick this on my head and you can watch me do it. There we go. I'm back around this way. Down there. Watch your hand on that bloody thing. And this is a bit tight over here, guys. You probably want to go around the other side. That's getting a bit smeary now, so I'm just going to flip it. Put that back on. I can't quite get into that corner, but you get the idea. I'm going to go around. Ooh. So that is a great tool, guys, for doing the interior of glass. What are the disadvantages of it? Well, if you've got it extended, sometimes you're rubbing, the shaft can shoot back in, so you have to get it really tight and not use too much pressure. And this thing flapping around can be a bit annoying sometimes when you want to keep it onto the glass. So there's little things like that. And the fact that you, you only get one applicator, you, you almost want another one, one in one end, one, in, one to sort of buff the liquid on and one to buff it off, if you get what I mean, like an applicator removal, although some people won't. Um, just talking about glass generally guys i like to use these kind of snakeskin diamond weeds i think they're called black diamond from the red company i also use, use like to use a waffle weave to slightly softer slightly more absorbent i can buff with it but neither of these towels are going to give up fibers if you use any other sorts of microfiber cloths like this 
you're just going to literally rip all the fibers off the surface and just get covered in whiskers in terms of what you actually use any material i'm using auto perfect m1 glass it's got a little bit of anti-fog inside so it helps with the winter misting you can just use your ipa ipa panel wipe uh, and i'll do a video on how to mix one up for glass which is quite cool um, but you know they're not too expensive glass cleaners but you can just use your water ipa panel wipe with a little bit of apc in it as well um, i also you always see me busting this out because i seem to have a problem with the detergents creating film and like white streaking on the front of my glass so i like to i love a really clean glass so i like to get in there and sort of polish that with the machine and make sure it's really smear white streaky stuck on bonded stuff free <laughs> so that's it guys let me know how you do your glass i know lots of people like using the blue paper because it's fresh and you use it once and just throw it away fresh bit all the time because half the problem when you're mopping up with these cloths you're taking grease um you're using a solvent you know to dissolve the grease you're trying to mop the grease up but it gets in the fibers and then you go back on a clean bit of glass with with this when there's a little bit of grease in it you can get all the smearing and stuff so it's all different things i like to swap to clean cloths regularly so there's loads of different techniques um i'll try and find a link for this and put it in the description so uh, but if not you can get it in your halford store and you can get the little pads to go with it guys it's relatively cheap like i've said before if you've not already subscribed to the channel please do so this is the sister channel the main channel is called forensics detailing which is the bigger channel so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you soon take care Where was I?